<laughs> it's so cool <laughs> and it's so ridiculous and so amazing i love it welcome to the flip side and welcome to another episode of jurassic world alive where man it Feels like it's been a long time since I've recorded one of these, even though it's only been like two days. And wow, I hope you guys were not actually looking at the screen for that, for that shot where I just hit a poor pedestrian walking down the street in the head with the DNA collection dart. <laughs> Along with this collection of bird DNA that I just got, I'm gonna have a random, random lady's DNA mixed in with that dinosaur when I go to fuse it because I missed bad. Okay, let's do two things to start out today. I want to do this legendary raid. So the last episode we recorded, we attempted a legendary a uh, egg. <laughs> wow. Legendary raid and got smoked. We got smoked. Um, but then yesterday off camera, I did a different legendary raid and was successful. And so today we are going to try another one. So that'll be fun. Wanted to show you guys progress in the past real quick. We are on the last tier, and we only need 10 more data to get there. Unfortunately, we have no more missions to do today. So that will have to wait till tomorrow, and then we'll get the new Citadel skin for my Giga Nyx, who is officially my favorite dinosaur in this game. As of right now, I love him. My Giga Nyx is level 23 now. Check it out. I have spent officially my stat boosters because I just love him so much. I had to give him a little bit of extra love. So I gave him some health and attack boosts. And man, this thing is brutal. I love him. I love him so much. So something that is exciting also is I've got a little bit of extra Giga DNA. Not a ton, but enough to do one fusion. And then our Tristanix over here, very close as well to getting him to level 20. So then I can start fusing on a more regular basis my Giganix. So very excited about that. But as great as the Giganix has been, I think it may be time to add a couple new uniques to the group. And there is a pack in the store right now where we could get ourselves four new uniques. So previously, a couple episodes ago, I was looking at a pack like this that was a legendary pack. It gave you eight legendary dinosaurs. And I was thinking to myself, I'm like, you know, probably not going to use those in my pvp team however of those four new uniques i would probably put all four of them into my team i'd probably replace my tristanix uh, giga rex and, and lars so we're gonna go ahead and do that today because that will be a fun thing for us to do so here we go unique blowout grab loads of dna of four unique creatures to take your collection to the next level. Speaking of next level, we may level up from this. Maybe not, but maybe, perhaps, and 500,000 coins. So here we go. Let's freaking do this. Let's see. 500,000. Excellent. Here we go. Okay, so Gemini Titan. The Gemini Titan. Very cool. Next, we got the Indotaurus, which is... Sarah's going to be so jealous of that one. <laughs> She's going to be so jealous of that one. The Truda Boa. Nice. A Trudon and a Boa? A Titana Boa, I'm assuming, of some sort. And then a, a Utaranex. Interesting. There's probably a Utah Raptor in there somewhere. And a Draco Rex. Wow. Look at how beautiful that is. I'm just going to leave it on the screen for a second so I can take a screenshot. <laughs> All right. Let's open this bad boy up. Let's see what we got. What else? What else? Okay. Another 45,000 coins. Boom. We will take it. And, ooh, nice. That'll be a nice little startup for us on our Indoraptor grind, which I'm very excited to start. Our Indominus is at level 19 right now. And so it'll be, yeah, that's, that's a nice little bump. Sweet. That's awesome. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go unlock all of them. Let's see what we got. Okay, we'll start with the, we'll start with the boring ones. And just get these three out of the way real quick. Okay, unlocked this guy this morning, actually, uh, in one of the in strike battle incubators. So that's that's cool. Oh, he's got like a weird fuzz on his back that 
makes the graphics look super weird. Okay, we're gonna just go away from this guy because who cares about that stupid dude? Except his his horn looks like a dunce cap. Is this is the truth here? All right, so I'm really happy to finally unlock this guy because his fusion is used a lot in raids. At least I see it all the time, and it's a good healer. It's this guy right here. I would like to get this dude. But I, I'm obviously a long ways off, ways off from that right now. Whoa! Bubble in my throat. We're good. All right. What is this? A, a Noto Patasaurus? Excellent. Just, he was just hanging around the other day. Just hanging around the house, so I just grabbed him. And I was like, sweet! That's dope! All right! Now for the good stuff. <laughs> I'm so excited because I don't know any of their kits. So it'll be fun to learn brand new, unique kits. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, son. All right. The Utah Renex first. Let's see. What is this? The fusion of the Draco Rex and the Utah Cineraptor. Got it. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's fast, too. 128. That's pretty speedy. Not bad. Level 21. All right. So we got to get to level 20 on both those before we get any more DNT, uh, DNA, which is Probably not gonna happen for quite a long time. Okay, so let's see, we got Cunning Strike. Very good, reduce critical chance by 100 and reduce damage, nice. Distracting Impact and Run. Stunning Rampage and Run, so there's two different ways for this guy to swap out. That's pretty cool. An instant Stunning Strike, which is, ah, so nice. As long as you don't use it against someone with a stun resistance and then it's not so nice. Uh, swap in Resilient Strike, okay, so we can keep people, um, Oh, no, that's a swap and move. Okay, excellent. Ooh, I don't have anyone on my current PvP team with a good swap and move. Nice. He is most certainly being put on the team. Nice. Welcome to the team, dude. Let's go ahead and just do that right now. Boom. And we will reorganize that later because you guys know how OCD I am about that. All right. The Trudaboa, which is my... Oh... It's <laughs> so cool, <laughs> and it's so ridiculous, and so amazing. I love it. All right, so this guy's got an uh, instant shield, very nice, which is interesting. Oh, he's a wild card. Okay, very good. 50% shields for four attacks or one turn, and uh, target with a high speed, reduce speed by 50%. Okay, not bad, not bad. Group uh, cleansing, okay, and increased damage is very good. Okay, precise, distracting impact, reduce damage, blah, blah, blah. Uh, group cunning rampage, nice. So this will this will be a good one against flock, actually. Uh, ferocious shield on escape, that's kind of nice. And ooh, it's got a counter attack. What? That's my first first dino on my team, also, which will now have a counter attack. Oh, Rexy, I'm sorry, dude, but even when you are selected to be on my PvP. Like, my selection of four that I get, I never use you. So you are gonzo. All right, who else we got? Oh, this is so cool, guys. <laughs> this is so cool. All right, the Indotaurus. He's beautiful. He's got little fuzzies on his back also. I wish I could zoom in on these guys a little bit more. All right, so we've got a fusion of a Carno and Indominus Gen 2, which, boy, howdy, that's going to take a long time because how often do you see Echo DNA? That's like, I hardly ever find Echo DNA anywhere. Um, okay, let's go ahead and check this guy again. All right, real quick for the... Okay, so he's a high enough level. He just had to be level 10, but I don't have ne I don't, don't have enough <laughs> DNA to even begin that process. But here we go. Let's check out. We got a cleanse and a shield break, a vulnerability shield break, cleansing rampage. Okay, so cleanse and a big attack. Revenge taunting cloak. <laughs> So he's got a cloak just like the Indominus, and it's got the revenge feature, except this revenge only does two times damage, in, or, or the two and a half times damage, instead of like the Indominus, which is like three or four times damage on the revenge. Uh, pesky alert for the swap in. Uh, okay, add some dot. Oh, it goes right into cloak. Okay, that's kind of nice. And we do have a swap in attack, I think. Greater rending counterattack, counterattack, counterattack. Okay, dope. So we've two ca two characters with uh, counterattacks. <laughs>
<laughs> That's so awesome. All right, sorry, Giggs. Now I'm going to have to make a choice, and I think I'll give her the Tristan next. But let's see, let's see. Is this a resilient? Excellent. I need one of these badly. All right. Gemini Titan. Gemini Titan. Gemini Titan. He's got sweet war paint across his face. This dude means business. I don't even know what these dinosaurs are. <laughs> All right. A Diplodocus, which I don't have yet. What the heck is this thing? Uh, yeah. Okay. Wow. So this one, I'm probably the furthest away from getting more DNA from this thing. I feel like I'm starting to get like a nasaliness going on here. Okay. Resilient strike. We got a cleanse. Re oh, just, just cleansing reduced damage. Remove cloak, dodge, and speed increase. That's awesome. Okay, group decelerating. Okay, and that does a big damage, so that's going to be good against flocks. And it slows those stupid flocks down also, which is great. Definitive shield advantage. Let's see. Opponent with most positive effects. Remove cloak, dodge, and shields. Attack, bypass armor, and also shield itself for 50% shields. Nice. And a group instant invincibility 100 percent prevention uh, resistance to stun and swap prevention can't reduce its speed can't reduce its crit whoa dude <laughs> he's a freaking legend all right let's go ahead and bada bing all right now we gotta now we gotta do the thing hold on gotta do the thing okay ba -ba 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 -ba. uh ba -ba -ba uh skip it Actually, no, it should be Rexy and then... Not the Allosaurus! There we go. All right. How about the new and improved PvP team? What? Come on, son! <laughs> That's so dope. And the cherry on top, the creme de la resistance. 681,000 coins, which is awesome. Okay, so I was thinking about doing a raid. Look at how close we got to level 13, dude! Wow! Nice! <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and do a battle. Let's go ahead and do a battle and see. And most likely, what if we got all four dinosaurs selected for us that were our old ones? <laughs> and none of the new ones whatsoever. Oh, this is so exciting! But we're gonna have to learn. And I have to learn how these guys can counter a Rexy. Because I can. I know how to counter Rexy with my Giganix. But it has to be a very specific set of circumstances. And that's why I've kind of been trying to buff its attack power and health. It's because my Giganix right now is my Rexy counter. Oh, no. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, well, here we go. Sorna Marshes. Defeat three creatures. Oh, guys, I'm so bummed about this. Okay. Okay, th these are all new for us. So we got to we gotta play smart. Okay, so this guy's got... All right, I'm trying to think, what if we go up against a Rexy? Uh, let's go... You know, let's just start with what we know. Let's start with what we know, and then we're going to swap in with the Draco, is what we're going to do. Use that swap and attack. Okay. So, here we go. Does this guy have resistance to stun? Let's see. 100% resistance to stun. Okay, so... Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Let's go ahead and use this. Because this will kill him. Won't stun him, but it will kill him. All right. Very nice. <laughs> oh, man. I'm having too much fun. All right. We're seeing all sorts of new things. I've never seen any of these guys. All right. Let's go ahead and do... Let's see. What kind of damage is this guy going to do? Uh, that's not a ton of damage. You know, I think we'll survive. I think we're going to survive. Yep. Boom! Come on, Sen! And then now we'll do a big hit. Now we'll swap in the Draco Rex. Oh, he's got a counterattack. Shoot. All right, that's all right. That's all right. Let's go with the bow up. <laughs> yeah, dude! This guy's hair is so sick! Okay, let's go. Uh, 940. That does 1400. Does this guy have, like, any armor that I need to be concerned about? He does. He has 30% armor. Okay, we should be good here. It's close, but we should be good. <laughs> I feel bad for this guy. But he has uniques too, so I feel like I shouldn't have to feel bad for him. Alright, the Allisonosaurus. I'm sorry, friend. 
But you cannot defeat my true Deboa, Dalinar. Oh, it's time to die. What if you saw that as your last moments of life? That would be horrifying. That would just be the worst. Okay. Oh, I forgot. What? 1400 on the counterattack? Dude, that's just nonsense. All right, let's just let's do a little game. <laughs> you tower next. And then go ahead and smack him. Give him a little smack. Oh, he's just standing. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> we just had our dinosaur essentially T-pose on us. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's funny. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. All right. Let's go ahead and do... Uh, you know what? Let's just do another battle. Why not? Well, let's go. We can do a legendary raid any day. We can't bask in the newness of our favorite new dinosaurs every day. So let's go ahead and do one more PvP fight because this is too much fun. All right, hey, we got Rexy along for the ride as well today. All right, let's see. Um, let's go ahead and jump out with this guy and see what happens. I have no idea what's gonna happen. All right, legendary Tristonex only a level 16. This poor fool is about to get destroyed. Lord Vader. Let's see. Is he going to do ready to crush? Is he going to do the heal to give himself more speed? But that would be dumb because he's already faster than me. But he's about to be slower than me. Gosh. Wait, what? Does he have resistance to speed down? Yeah, 100% resistance to that. Okay. And both of his moves break shields. So we'll just go this one and hope that we survive, which we will. But the, whoo, that did a lot of damage. That did a whole lot of damage. Mm. I should have swapped in my Utah Renex. Because um, then I could have avoided all damage from that entirely. All right, Rexy, here we go. Here we go. This is where we got to... All right, regardless of... He's going to use his priority attack. So we're not even gonna get in it. Oh wait, his priority attack wouldn't be able to hurt me through this though. Cause this is 100% shields. So this should protect me from that at least. Oh, we didn't use the priority attack. Which means I could've used my normal attack, dang it. All right, here we go. Pop in with Rexy. Rexy on Rexy violence. Let's go. And he's dead for sure. Not on this move, but on the next move. Because I'm faster than you, dude. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I'm not. But I am. But now he has forced me into using my priority move because I have no other choice. Cannot gamble that he will not use his. And this, this murder death for him. Man, I want to play with uh, with my boa again. <laughs> with the with the Truda boa. Oh, yes. I've been trying to fuse these guys. These things are so cool. I love these little Larses. These little Larses are so much fun. All right. Which one did I say would be good for groups? Ah, crap. I've already forgotten. I think it was the one. Oh, whoops. Well, that that's fine. If anything, I should have used the last one so I could get a little bit of devour health back. Woo! Ouch. All right, let's go ahead and do a little swap of Roonies. Get the Utah Renex in here. Man, I love these little Lars, Lars of Succuses. <laughs> That's what we're gonna call them, the Lars of uh, They are just so cool. I'm working on fusing them right now because I really want them. Because, oh, again. All right, there's clear, <laughs> clearly a bit of a bug with this guy's swap and move. All right, Cunning Strike. It's gonna do a little wackadoodles. And I think I got resistance to stun here, yeah? 75% only. Stun this boy! Yeah, he's just gonna kill him. <laughs> nice. nice! That's so much fun. <laughs> All right, well, hey. I would say that uh, I am very happy with, with that pack. That was a fun pack to get. I'm very happy I waited for a unique uh, like pack in the store bundle as opposed to getting that legendary one. I feel like the value is much better here for the unique 
But uh, because I'm actually gonna use these dinosaurs for for probably the next two thousand trophies, um, or so. So works out really, really well. But hey, that's where we're gonna end the episode for today, I think. Because next episode we will do some more legendary raids. But I think this is a nice full voluptuous episode. Um, where we got lots of lots of stuff going on today. This was a fun one. And on top of everything, let's not forget that we got 100 Indoraptor DNA, which is pretty dope. Because that'll make our Indoraptor grind that much easier. And what I will say, as soon as they release like Beta and the Atrociraptors uh, Ghost into the store, we'll probably pick those up as well. So if you are into Jurassic World Alive and you've been enjoying, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe because we're going to pick up all the new stuff as it comes along so you guys can see how it works and uh, yeah, hopefully just um, have some fun with it. But anyway, I'm going to go. Sorry, Giganotosaurus 4413. The episode is officially over. Thanks for watching and I will see all of you on the flip side.